ice cream to celebrate. That's right. What are we celebrating? Hard couple, three weeks of training. So we just finished our kind of first race prep, three week training block. Gonna take one week recovery, um, probably another four week training block into a two week taper. Because our race uh, that we're planning for is uh, the USAT, USA Triathlon, Off-Road Nationals in Wawayanda State Park. Where? Wawayanda. Where? 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 Wah, 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 wah. You may have heard us mentioning our training plans. Our training plans consist of four week blocks, three weeks of hard effort, and a one week recovery week. It's hard. The, the, <laughs> there's no other way to say it. It was. It was like a shock to my system doing those bike intervals and then into the run. So it was the bike intervals was 20 by one minute at, for me, it was. I think 260 watts for me. More watts. 18 more to go. A four minute build to tempo pace and then eight by one minute. All right, just finished the first brick workout of the year. That was hard. And then it was two minutes the next week at 10 by two minutes at 230 watts, I think, 220 or 230 watts. One of the things that is recommended in order to improve performance is to do interval training where you step up your pace and power for and be explosive for short periods of time. And so while Kathy can complete some of the, you know, at, at the prescribed levels of power, I need to start at the prescribed level, but then I'll step down over the course of the workout. Because it, it really, you, you really are straining yourself. You really are pushing yourself. And um, I really want to make a note here for, for people that, that, that aren't, don't view themselves as highly competitive. Don't kill yourself. You don't need to kill yourself. Yeah, I've come close to puking, I think at least three times that I remember in the past two weeks of training. My intervals during the week were on the trainer, mostly for the interest of time, just trying to fit it in before work. But then the intervals on Saturdays were out on the mountain bike and I'm actually able to hit higher powers and get keep my heart rate higher for longer periods out on the actual mountain bike. I, I don't know why that is. Laura thinks it's because you're just it's just too boring sitting on the trainer or something <laughs> and it's less controlled out out on the trails yesterday I mean I sometimes it'd be steep and I'm putting out 250 260 watts but then it'd flatten out and I'm only going 170 yeah. watts so it was a lot more variation so I wasn't holding like the same power for 15 minutes on the intervals yesterday it was where on the on the trainer I'm it's very controlled and I can just hold that 200 200 and 20 watts for for the full two minutes so even though this is an advanced training plan um, the hours per week for these hard weeks are coming in around 11 12 hours I think I think the biggest training week was 14 hours for from this program um, and 14 hours is kind of a little I'd say it's a little more than what we really list, realistically have time to do. Yeah, I mean, with that's... Our busy lives. Um, even now with the 11, 12 hour block, we ended up doing five or six hours on the weekend. So half of this training is in two days on the weekend because <laughs> that's just when we have time to do it. Because right. of, we have very, we both have very demanding jobs. Um, so I mean, fitting it, it, in an hour during the, each day during the week is a, is a battle we can handle sometimes yeah. an hour and a half. So turn the heat off. What happened? To turn the heat off too. And what else? Throw my watch. If it's not on Strava, it didn't happen. Steam coming off the pool. Notice the, the, the long coat for the machine. Give the view. If you can realistically carve out half an hour to an hour and 15, I can't even imagine, you know, carving out 90 minutes where, you know, it says it on the schedule. 
to to do an hour and a half on the trainer. I, yeah, it, it's just it's impossible between because an hour and a half really means two and a half hours by the time you're stretching, yeah. by the time you're showering, you know, you're dececompressing afterwards. Um, you gotta yeah, have time to eat. You gotta have time to eat before work. All right. So looking ahead, Ooh, we're six weeks out from the race. So the things. There's some things I want to change for the next training block. I think three main things. Number one, I want to do the bike intervals outside and on my mountain bike. Okay. Um, I just after listening to, to the Leslie Patterson Xterra podcast, she's talking about um, how you know just the challenges of the terrain make you work so many more different muscles mm -hmm. on the bike and the run. So I thought kind of going into this last block, probably want to spend more time on the trails. And then the second thing I want to change is we do need to put on our wetsuits and get in the ocean. <laughs> Which makes you happy, but I will only be happy if it's if the water temperature is above 62 degrees. <laughs> I will not get in the ocean if it's below 62 degrees. It's fun to be able to push yourself. I can't go as fast as Kathy can, but I'm working in some ways just as hard as Kathy is. There's something to be said by by looking each other in the eye and just being able to say, hey, I <laughs> left it all on the field today. It's, it's rewarding. It's, you know, we're working together. She's cheering for me. We, we, we do this because, you know, as we said, it's a lifestyle. You ready? Cold. Tired. I'm a little cranky. Go for a walk with your significant other. Go for uh, a jog. Go for a bike, you know, uh, a cruise with bikes along the uh, the boardwalk. That's what it's all about. It's just the time that you spend together. And that's it for this week. Honey, what you doing? Are those brownies? A whole, you're going to eat that whole tray? Mm. That was a hard workout.